hey guys welcome to geo with Motsuk. in today's video we are covering the topic of earthquakes now how do we define earthquakes earthquakes are simply defined as the sudden and violent movement of the earth's crust uh, caused by a sudden release of energy so it's the sudden and violent movement of the earth's crust let me just draw the crust here's the earth's crust we know that below the crust we have the mental the mantle, we have the outer core, we have the inner core, right? Now, the crust is made up of fragments known as plates. It is divided into fragments known as plates. Now, these plates are moving around, right? They are moving. Hence, we have the theory of continental drift, which says that our continents are moving at approximately two centimeters every year, right? Now, what you must know about the crust is that, as I've said, it is made up of fragments known as plates, right? And these plates float above the molten mantle. Molten means that this mantle is in a liquid state, right? A rock that is in a liquid state, it is magma, it is very hot, right? Now, these plates float above the mantle, right? And then they move around. They float above the mantle because there are convection currents in the mantle. Right? These convection currents cause the plate to converge. You can see these plates. These plates are converging. You can see my arrows coming together. They can either converge, right? When they converge, it means that the plates are colliding. When they collide, one of the plates will go under will be subducted you see that all of the plates went under the other one right because of convergence when they collided right the plates can collide we call this our convergent boundary right they can diverge diverge means that they are moving in opposite directions they are moving away from one another right they are diverging the first one they are converging now when they converge, one of the plates is going to be subducted, it's going to go below the other, right? Look at this, it goes below, and then it's going to release energy, and that energy causes the vibration of the earthquake, right? Here's plate A, plate B, they converge. Plate A is subducted, it goes under, look at what happens to this plate. Can you see that, can you see that tension is building up, and then it's going to be released. To give us those vibrations right of the earthquake number two let me draw it clearly right the second one is our divergent bound divergent means that the plates are moving away from one another right is my arrows pointing away these ones are diverging they are moving away from one another now what happens is that the magma or the molten material from the mantle is going to rise and fill up this gap you can see that this creates some tension and then it creates some mild earthquakes right and then the third one is our transform transform boundary our transform plate boundary is when the plates slide past each other they, these also cause earthquakes right but the most destructive earthquake Earthquakes are caused by convergent plate boundaries when the plates collide. When they collide, the other causes of earthquakes, such as volcanoes, volcano eruptions can also cause uh, vibrations or earthquakes. Okay, uh, even mining, right? Mining and oil drilling, those are some of the human causes of earthquakes, right? Now, let me just use a small diagram to get uh, to highlight some of the key terminologies for this topic, right? This is my crust and then this is a fault. The fault refers to the crack, right? It's a crack on our earth's crust. This is the fault of the crack, right? Which means that our earthquake is going to originate somewhere there along the crack, right? Now this point beneath the earth's surface where the earthquake originates is known as the focus of the earthquake. It is a point like below the surface where the earthquake originates, right? Now, 
that's where the earthquake originated right and then there was a release of energy can you see these vibrations these vibrations these, these lines are actually showing us our wave fronts our wave fronts these wave fronts are showing us our seismic waves or the energy released by an earthquake right our seismic waves or the energy released by the earthquake uh, but the point where it originated is the focus right this black focus you know it occurred along a fault or a track on the earth's crust right now a point directly above the focus which is on the earth's surface right look at it directly above the focus we call this point the epicenter the epicenter of the earthquake this is a point directly above the focus Right, but an epicenter is on the surface, right? A focus is be beneath the surface. So a point on the surface directly above the focus is our epicenter. It is our epicenter. Now you need to know that the focus is also known as the hypocenter. The hypocenter. The focus can be referred to as the hypocenter. Right? Yes, the focus beneath the surface where the earthquake originates and then our epicenter is above right is above these lines are imaginary lines right they are showing us uh, they, they are, we call them our wave fronts right they are showing us the seismic waves or the energy which is released by the earthquake released by the the previous video on internal structure of the earth i spoke about the earth's crust right i said we have a continental crust a continental crust and we have an oceanic crust oceanic crust our continental crust is thicker right our oceanic crust is thin it is thin Okay, then this part here, these waves are showing you my ocean, right? They're showing you my ocean. Now, another another term or another thing you need to know about earthquakes is the tsunamis. Tsunamis. Our tsunamis refer to a large wave. A large what? Wave caused by an earthquake. Caused by an earthquake. Now, remember I spoke about the focus, right? Where the earthquake originates. If that focus is over the land here, yeah, it's an earthquake, right? Because it's an earthquake, it's a normal earthquake. But if the focus is on our oceanic crust, means it's below our ocean, then the focus there beneath on our oceanic crust. Now, this causes something known as a tsunami. A tsunami is a large wave. You see these waves, now they become large waves. It's large waves caused by an earthquake under the ocean, right? That's a tsunami. A large wave caused by earthquakes under the ocean. You see where the focus is? The focus is on the oceanic crust, which means the epicenter will also be on the ocean floor here. On the ocean floor, we have our epicenter, right? Yes. So if, if you see the focus, uh, on the oceanic crust, just know that we're going to have a tsunami there. It is a tsunami, a large wave of water caused by an earthquake under the ocean, right? So that's the difference between an earthquake and a tsunami. An earthquake is the sudden and violent movement of the earth's crust, but a tsunami is a large wave of water caused by an earthquake under the ocean, right? An earthquake under the ocean. We're going to discuss three ways in which earthquakes are measured. Number one, let's talk about the Richter scale. The Richter scale is a method to allocate the magnitude, the magnitude of an earthquake, of an earthquake, right? Richter scale is a method to allocate the magnitude of an earthquake. Okay, this scale measures the magnitude or the energy released by an earthquake. As you can see from the scale, if it's between uh, 0 to 3, the earthquake is not even felt. 4 is minor, 5 is small, 6 is moderate, and so on, right? Uh, secondly, we have that. The seismograph is an instrument. 
it is an instrument an instrument used to measure and record earthquakes and then a seismo seismogram is a graph is a graph output of a seismograph i i know that you will think that a seismograph is the graph no a seismograph is an instrument used to measure and record earthquakes whereas a seismogram is a graph output of a seismograph okay and then you also need to know the impacts the impacts of earthquakes right so the impacts of earthquakes socially meaning how do they affect people the impact of earthquakes um, on the physical or natural environment the impact of earthquakes on the economy when we speak about the economy we are dealing with money right 